Iranian regime forces girls to watch uh, adult film content to deter protests. Disturbing reports have emerged that the Iranian regime has resorted to using, can I just say the word? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, pornographic videos as a tool to intimidate and deter schoolgirls from participating in protests that have been sweeping the nation since September. According to Iran Wire and Iran International, security forces have been visiting schools across Iran, forcing young girls to watch graphic scene, scenes of RAPE and also, um, shall I say, human animal sex in an attempt to dissuade them from joining the woman-led demonstrations. This reprehensible tactic has resulted in emotional and psychological trauma for the schoolgirls, with some suffering nervous breakdowns and having to be hospitalized. As the Iranian regime continues to feel threatened by the brave women at the forefront of these protests, it seems that no tactic is too low for them to employ in their efforts to suppress dissent. So, do you understand what they were trying to do? They are trying to say to these girls that this is what you're fighting for. You want to be free women so much. You want to not have the hijab. You want to not have Islamic standards on sexuality and morals. This is what you get. This is your prize. Is RIP and uh things with animals so this is a common tactic that the iranian regime uses saying is to tell people that in in countries where they don't have a job this is the norm and this is what's going to happen to you to threaten children these are children these are schoolgirls. these are not just like they and by when we're, when we're telling you that they're showing them adult videos it's not that it's like it's it's the kind of stuff that will shock even adults like it's disgusting the they they went and found the most bizarre things and imagine it's, Armin, it's forcing... beyond bizarre it's they're showing these girls videos of crimes yeah and there were kids that wanted to leave the class they were so shocked and disgusted that they were trying to leave and they forced them to stay i mean i don't understand how these people think that they're on the right side of things they think like they're warning these kids they think like look at what you're fighting for look at if you want freedom this is this is what you're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get rape by animals because that's what happens when you remove the hijab i don't even need to describe how vile this is because it just speaks for itself yeah i um had heard rumors of this but I didn't want to talk about it until I saw that um, Iran Wire had done some exclusive reporting based on some credible sources that they had that I felt comfortable talking about this on the show because I think, um, I really think, Iran Wire, I, I believe in the credibility of their journalism, so I thought it was really important to talk about. Um, Dr. Uh, Hypnosis is saying, so basically that's how they see liberalism? Yes, exactly. Exactly. I mean, uh, this is normal to me. I didn't think that they would do it. I, I know they do this on social media a lot, like the pro regime people. I didn't think they were actually going to go to a school girl and force kids to watch it. Like this is this is beyond what I'm even used to. But I've seen this constantly by like I, I in Pers on the Persian show, we review uh, videos by religious people, religious Iranians who are defending the regime. And this is one of their go-to, you know, like, oh, a, a slippery slope. They talk about a slippery slope to removing the hijab to obviously getting into, and they go and find um, on the dark net, they go and find the most bizarre things that there is out there. And we're like, look at what the Western societies are doing. And this is what you're gonna get if you don't have the hijab, as if everybody's doing that. And they even go and find things that are not even true, uh, like, and I, I shouldn't even describe that. That's the, I'll, I'll tell you after the show. But um, like this is one. So look how bad this was. One of the students had to be hospitalized for two days. Imagine the long term damage that this girl has to experience. Like this must have been 
you might you might have destroyed these girls sexual lives like if, if this was imagine a lot of these girls this might have been their first exposure to to sex mm-hmm. you might have ruined them you might have broken them they might be disgusted from sex from for the rest of their lives this might be what a, anytime they think about sex this might this this could be what flashes in their mind that's like when they grow up maybe they're going to be incapable of even enjoying it but i know this is actually a very good part armin because highly conservative religious people will do so much fear mongering about sex to even this extreme and then they think that somehow when everything's are properly confined within the proper you know boundaries of marriage that all of that conditioning is just going to flip the switch and everything's going to be fine things are not fine when you've been indoctrinated about sex to this degree your entire life and then all of a sudden you're expected to be carrying the burden of satisfying your husband just for the rest of your life like a lot of people really struggle even after marriage when everything is supposed to be fine to think that they're doing something okay and they still feel disgusting oh so this is on like a completely different level um but yeah. this comment from katie is very accurate saying conservative conservatives accuse libs of being degenerate and then proceed to think up of some of the most degenerate things any person could think of uh, yep. yeah mortad has a good point too Murtad skeptic is saying the only thing standing in between horse repe and your purity is a thin cloth veil imbued with your imam in the protection of ali i mean allah <laughs> yeah um this person on persian orange that's a funny name saying the islamic republic is beyond control now they do whatever it takes to stop our girls and women in their tracks to not protest against their medieval laws yeah yeah this is this is vile this is like a are we the baddies moment this is one of those moments I feel like it's so much farther than that. Yes. This is like we are like we are we are the baddies and we're owning it. How do they think this is gonna look? Like did they not think this is gonna get out with the parents? Oh my god. Get my best selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.